Hey, you there? Come here. Yeah, come here. You want to uh, you want to get younger? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Hey guys, now I recently watched Real Life, one of the most hyped up animes of this summer, or at least most hyped up slice of life animes. And it even has an interesting plot, kinda, but more on that later. Not starting this review off strongly, the opening was one of the worst openings I have seen in a long time. It seemed so lazy and boring that I couldn't get through it more than two times. Pretty much the only thing worse are the openings that use clips from the anime itself and don't put any effort into hyping up the viewer at all. Thankfully the opening is the weakest link here and it only gets better. So skip it every time, 10 out of 10. Again, I don't know what's going on with this anime but the drawing style also seems kinda cheap. I mean it's okay to look at. But if you're watching it in full HD blasting it on your 4K monitor, then you start to see that it isn't all that well animated, especially on close-ups. Not saying it's bad, but it's just mediocre. Real life doesn't try anything new or bold, it just sticks to the roots and goes for what people already like. Now, in my opinion, that's not a bad choice at all. This is not some shonen anime that needs hardcore animations. As long as the story is good, it will do just fine. The music, on the other hand, while being minimalistic, does bring out emotions really well. And who doesn't like some good piano here and there? Plot. So I read on the wiki that one of the writers was uh, Michiko Yokote, I'm sorry if I said it wrong, who has also worked on some of the great animes like Ranma 1 and half, Naruto, Bleach and Cowboy Bebop, just to mention a few. So it should be in good hands. It starts off with your main protagonist, a 27 year old Arata Kaizaki coming home from a get together with old classmates that gives a brief introduction to his backstory that he has quit his job, can find a new one and is completely down in the dumps. While getting home a mysterious man appears and offers him a freaking tablet that promises to make him young again. Of course Arata, being a 27 year old man, takes the flipping capsule and with no freaking hesitation at all, eats it. Thankfully this is not that kind of anime, so he really turns into a 17 year old when he wakes up the next morning. The man who gave him the pill Ryo Yoke, his handler, also shows up and explains that Arata has entered a program to rehabilitate himself. They will provide him with a home for a year so he could go to high school again, socialize, learn some stuff and by then if all goes well, the corporation will get him a job. That's the premise of the anime that it builds up in the first three episodes. Pretty cool, right? But, again, in the fucking middle, it switches it up and starts focusing on his friends. Like Rena, a girl who sits next to him, who is very competitive and thinks that people better than her get through life without any effort at all. Or Honoka, who gets a whole episode dedicated to showing how she is too good at sports, so instead of going to a school that specializes in sports, she wanted to go to a school that wasn't focused on them for some goddamn reason. That didn't make any sense at all. So the anime started focusing back on the useless high school drama. Now, don't get me wrong, it is necessary to build characters and advance the plot, but real life already did that so well in the first episode. The story went on smoothly, while introducing new characters, explaining stuff about them, and also building up their personality while focusing on the rehabilitation of the main character. It's but a seventh-ish episode that I started having beef with it where it completely stops talking about the real life program and turns the spotlight on the petty dramas of high schoolers. There's also a side story of Subject 1, the main character being Subject 2. Subject 1 was, as you can tell, the first person who was experimented on, but didn't go that well, so they picked a better candidate. Now, that actually is pretty interesting stuff, and also learning more about the program and the handler's backstory would be nice, but too bad that it doesn't focus on that at all and instead gives 3 episodes to a running gag where a freaking girl can't smile properly so she freaks out another girl. It was funny though. Overall, real life is a good anime. There were a lot of jokes and some parts were truly hilarious. 
I really enjoyed the plot of it and the premise is actually interesting but it just loses focus in the middle which is kind of sad and by the end it just ends as you would imagine kind of open while providing a mushy lovey dovey ending and a eh, twist if it would only pay more attention to the main character and the program then it would have gotten a higher rating but I give it a 7 out of 10 it is worth the watch but it's not that perfect as you would expect from the first few episodes bye oh! I'm not wearing a sock.